Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be discussing something absolutely urgent in the world of jailbreaking, the upcoming iOS 8.4.1 release, which just went into beta. Okay, and to start off, as of recording this video, iOS 8.4.1 just entered its first beta stage, which means it's not public or live yet. iOS 8.4 still remains the latest firmware. So if you are interested in jailbreaking the current public firmware, again, being iOS 8.4, I will have an annotation on the screen now to my Taiji Untethered Jailbreak tutorial. Though this firmware does threaten not only that tutorial, but also just Taiji in general. All right, so let's go ahead and launch Safari here and switch on over to Apple's developer portal, which is now at least partially accessible without having to be signed in to a developer account. You can see the latest beta releases. As you can see, we have iOS 9 beta 3 there at the top, which was released last week, but scrolling down, we have 8.4.1, unfortunately, which does threaten the existence of Taiji. G. As you can see down below there at the bottom, it says that it was released on July 14th, 2015, which is the day that this video was not only recorded, but also uploaded. And it also says that this is a pre-release version of iOS 8.4.1 for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. And below that, it states to sign in with a developer account. So let's go ahead and switch on over to desktop here because I do actually have a developer account. As you can see, I'm signed in there at the top. And when we scroll down for iOS 9 beta 3, notice we have a release notes link, meaning we can see the changes that iOS 9 beta 3 brings to the table. But when when we scroll down to iOS 8.4.1, we do not have a release notes section. We simply have the default iOS beta software installation guide link. So as of now, we don't know which features are implemented into iOS 8.4.1, though they are certainly bug fixes. And speaking of bug fixes, there's a very, very strong possibility that iOS 8.4.1 includes a patch for the Taiji jailbreak. Now, while it may not patch all of the vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities exploited by the group, if it does, it will close enough to make it so that updating a tool to support iOS 8.4.1 simply won't be worth it considering the firmware will be such a minor release. So if that's the case and 8.4.1 patches Taiji, we likely won't see another untethered jailbreak until iOS 9 rolls out, unless Taiji knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that some of the exploits they've been saving simply will not function function on iOS 9. So that's kind of where things could potentially get interesting. Another plausible scenario is that like iOS 8.1.2, Apple releases 8.4.1 and it doesn't patch the jailbreak and it simply addresses minor bugs within the firmware itself outside of the jailbreak. So let me rewind a little bit. The first Taiji jailbreak was initially released for iOS 8.1.2 in November. Following that release, Apple issued 8.2.1 to the public, which simply addressed a ringtone complication. And from there, Taiji was able to update their utility and jailbreak iOS 8.1.2 successfully until iOS 8.1.3 came along and it patched the vulnerabilities exploited. But having said that, we've already been lucky one time around with iOS 8.4 itself. Initially, the latest IG jailbreak was released for 8.3 because the group knew that Apple had to meet iOS 8.4's release being June 30th for Apple Music. There was a deadline in place and they simply could not change it and they couldn't push it back to close the vulnerabilities and then release it once everything was patched. So we knew that iOS 8.4 was going to be jailbreakable, but the most likely scenario of the three that I've just detailed will be that iOS 8.4.1 patches the vulnerabilities exploited and that we won't receive another jailbreak. So be prepared for that because that's the absolute worst possible outcome for us jailbreakers. So what does that mean for you guys if there's no new jailbreak in sight until iOS 9 and 8.4.1 is the latest public firmware? Well, essentially after the release of a new firmware, in this case, let's say 8.4.1, Apple will still sign the previous build for an unknown period of time. It could be one day, it could be one week, we simply don't know. So that will happen this time with 8.4.1 and 8.4. Apple will still sign 8.4 after 8.4.1's release, but we 
we won't know for how long. So do not count on the window for downgrades. If you receive a device on 8.4.1 and it's shortly following the firmware's release, then downgrade immediately. And if you happen to update by mistake, also again, downgrade immediately to iOS 8.4 because you do not want to be stuck on 8.4.1 if it patches the jailbreak. From there, Apple will cease signing iOS 8.4 and you will not be able to restore to any firmware other than the latest public firmware, which at that point will be 8.4.1. So what this means is to just avoid updating at all costs. Do not update inside of iTunes. The most common mistake that I see is jailbreakers actually plugging their device into their computer via USB cable, launching up iTunes, and then accidentally clicking the update button to the prompt that they receive, stating that their device is outdated. Do not do that. You will lose your jailbreak if that happens. Fortunately, though, Apple blocks OTA or over-the-air updates, which are typically found in settings general software update for jailbroken devices. So you don't have to worry about that. Just be extra cautious when plugging into iTunes and don't blindly click the prompts that you receive. That's the absolute best advice that I can give you guys, and I will keep you updated along the way every single step, and I'll let you guys know when we know more about 8.4.1 and whether it's jailbreakable. So just be sure to stay tuned to my channel and click that subscribe button if you have yet to. Also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more updates. If you're interested in winning a brand new iPad Air 2, all you have to do is navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, sign up, start downloading apps. It's really as simple as that, and then you can come back here, again, rate this video up, and leave relevant comment down below in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on 8.4.1. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.